Hi again guys. I'm back, but the room has changed because I've had to take a move. But let's start this with a little bit of a tour. Right here, there's the monitor I was using. A couple speakers, some test equipment. These are keyboard adapters. This one is a PS2 to XT adapter, very handy for those XT boards I have. And this one is PS2 to, wait, PS2 to Tandy. There's a drive cage there for a new project I have. And this is where I'll be testing all of the motherboards and computer systems and other such equipment. Over here, there's a motherboard sitting there that really shouldn't be there, but over here on this bench is where I have all my, you know, solder and repair stuff. My solder sucker here, which I'm seriously considering replacing. It's a hot air rework station, my soldering iron, various tweezers. Found some magnet wire while I was moving. That'll be very handy for bodge wires and things, various solder and that sort of stuff. This little 486 motherboard is my testing board because it has PCI and ISA on it. And it, it works fine. Down here, there are several completed or mostly completed computer systems that we'll see later on the channel probably. Right here are all the drawers I keep various various cards and peripherals in. Ribbon cables in that yellow bin that right down there. And a few motherboards that aren't in cases. A couple fans sitting there. Over here on this rack, there are two, they are mostly empty, IBM 5160 cases and a toothbrush that I use for cleaning. Let's get that out of there. A couple laptops you can see there. Those are more modernish laptops. And the laptop I'm using to record this video. The tripod this camera was mounted on. Get a look at the front of these. Don't have a lot of room, but IBM Personal Computer XT. This one has a full height drive. This one down here has no drives in it and is the dirtier looking of the cases. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Sorry, it's not a whole lot of space. We had to move into a smaller spot because, well, that's just how life goes, I guess. Thought we'd do a bit of an unboxing. Opening this upside down so I don't accidentally dox myself or the shipper. using a screwdriver for this because the blade I had didn't want didn't want to stay together it just the blade 
broke, probably because I was doing something silly with it. Walmart bags. Let's go for this right here in the middle. Anything else in the box? Nope, just a bunch of shopping bags. We'll toss that in the floor there. And here. Tape there. And here on the side. It's not very heavy given its size. To be honest, I forgot what I had ordered. Do you hate when that happens? Oh, I think I know what this is. that packing material on the floor too. More bubble wrap. This is a very nice looking uh, IBM Guide to Operations for the Personal Computer XT from their personal computer hardware reference library. Nice box, no discoloration. Has been open though. Let's see what we got in here. The guide to operations. The dividers are still in the package. Still sealed. This has already been put in its binder. The date says April 1984. Just turning to a random page. FCC radio frequency interference statement. Legal stuff, a table of contents. Introduction and installation. Look at all those peripherals on that. Ten megabyte fixed disk drive here. It says for an expansion unit. 320k diskette drive. Printers. Several different monitors there. A few printers too. Handling diskettes, various types of cards. I'm not going to go through this whole book. We'll just randomly turn through a few pages. The print up of the basic screen right there. Memory test. Such detailed documentation. Business reply. For readers' comments and a glossary. The diagnostics disc is still in here. Looks a little folded. Hope that's still all right. We'll have to give that a, a try at a later time. And if this disc works, I will be imaging it and putting it on archive.org. Stay tuned for updates on that. All right, let's put this 
right back in its box. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a good day.